coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Spaceship 2 completes its first flight from Spaceport America. Mahepa Electric Drive Unit completes pre-flight qualification tests. And the Reno Air Races Pylon Racing Seminar is postponed. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 completed its first test flight from Spaceport America. This glide flight was VSS Unity's first solo flight in New Mexico. The flight took off from the Spaceport America runway, with VSS Unity attached to the carrier aircraft VMS Eve. The vehicles climbed to an altitude of 50,000 feet before Unity was released, at which point VSS Unity flew freely for the first time in New Mexico airspace. The spaceship achieved a glide speed of Mach 0.7 and completed multiple test points before touching back down smoothly for a runway landing. This flight milestone represents a major achievement, which has been in the works since Spaceship 2 relocated to Virgin Galactic's New Mexico commercial headquarters in February. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Well, hello, fellow flight instructor. You know, it's been over a month now since we all started working and studying from home, and we hope we'll all be able to get back in the cockpit soon. But until then, King Schools is offering an even better deal on our flight instructor refresher courses. Right now, you can get our FERC for only $93. Plus, you get our King Schools Aviation e-library free with your FERC purchase. Use the code HOME when you order. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the LightSport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrol is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. The Sling 2, a modern, economical flight training airplane for today's pilots. 120 knot crews, sporty handling, sliding bubble canopy, modern glass panel, and dependable Rotax power. Available in LSA or kit versions. Check it out at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Last Thursday, Boeing conducted a successful first flight of their second 777X airplane. The plane was flown for 2 hours and 58 minutes by Captain Ted Grady, 777X project pilot, and Captain Van Cheney, 777 and 777X chief pilot, before landing at Seattle's Boeing Field. Designated WH-002, this airplane is the second of four in a dedicated flight test fleet and will test handling characteristics and other aspects of airplane performance. Beginning May 4th, all non-critical air traffic will be allowed once again at the Glenwood Springs Municipal Airport in Colorado. This change came after City Council voted last week to lift restrictions that had been placed on the airport on March 23rd. The airport was the only in the state to be closed as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic, and an online petition was created by airport pilots and operators, emphasizing the importance of the airport's continued operation. Many aviation supporters attended the virtual City Council meeting to help support the pilots and operators' goal of reopening the airport. The British Airline Pilots Association issued a mayday distress call for the aviation industry after Ryanair announced 3,000 jobs are on the line. This announcement comes just days after British Airways announced it's planning 12,000 layoffs. The union states enforced travel restrictions are having a devastating impact on aviation and is an emergency the government can no longer ignore. SkyDio will donate dozens of SkyDio 2 drones and personal protection equipment to public safety agencies across the country through its SkyDio Emergency Response Program. The company had originally planned to release the ERP later this year, but decided to make it immediately available to meet the needs of public safety agencies dealing with the pandemic. All participating agencies will have access to SkyDio's in-house experts for training and support at no cost. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.
official announced the Mahepa electric drive unit has completed all the qualification tests and is ready to be integrated in the Panthera and the Taurus G4 aircraft, making the first flight of a Mahepa hybrid electric aircraft one step closer to reality. The Mahepa powertrain is a powerful and lightweight electric drive unit, aircraft powered by this technological masterpiece. Either in single or modular distributed electric propulsion powertrain architectures will reportedly enable cleaner, quieter, and more sustainable airborne mobility. The unit is surprisingly small and slender, making its potential adaptation into a number of airframes far easier than bulkier designs. A hybrid electric version of the Panthera is the first aircraft destined to test these technologies, combining an electric drive with an internal combustion engine. The Taurus G4 will be the second and will combine an electric drive with hydrogen fuel cells. One of the highlights, as well as a requirement for a new or returning Reno race pilot, is the attendance at Rookie School, otherwise known as the Pylon Racing Seminar. For over two decades, Reno Air Racing Association has utilized the Pylon Racing Seminar program to allow race pilots to prepare and become certified to race in the fall. However, this year's rendition, originally scheduled for June 10th through the 13th, has now been postponed to September 9th through the 12th, the week before the annual races. The association states the safety of their pilots, volunteers, fans, and staff is always their top priority, which is why the decision to reschedule was made. At this time, the 2020 STIHL National Champion Air Races are still scheduled for September 16th through the 20th. However, the association is still closely monitoring the situation and will make an announcement if any additional changes are made. And that was our last story of the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a great start to your week and I'll see you Wednesday.